good morning and welcome back to my channel and today i'm here in connaught place that is a georgian style place it's a circular there's a lot of history about how it was built but as you can see sort of it's like you have gone into some city in europe especially uh in the uk or something right so this place the connaught was uh, named after the first uh, duke of connaught uh, prince arthur that son of Queen Victoria. It was built around 1929 to around 1933. It was completed, and later on, in uh, around 2020, 20, in the 2000s, uh, it was renamed to um, Rajiv Chok after an Indian Prime Minister. But today, it is a place that is a uh, rife with businesses and a lot of things like museums and shopping malls and there is quite much to see so just behind me there was the museum of illusions if you want to see that but i'll show you i'll just walk around and i'll see points of interest and i'll show you those the georgian architecture is known to follow sort of a mathematical approach to it as you can see it has the columns it has all the buildings very proportioned to each other with windows to exact sizes and you can see this a lot in Europe. It's quite interesting that this is India. <laughs> it's beautiful. is a chaka museum which the chaka is a spinning wheel and it has it started as a humble instrument of work and eventually became a national symbol and this museum holds the largest chaka in the world i think or somewhere close to that and right out of the gate you see a statue of mahatma gandhi and inside you'll see stories of that so on the outside there's this very nice lawn um this lawn <laughs> it's a carpeted lawn but i think it's actual grass it's beautiful you have an image of a tiger over here and then you've got the charka there you go So this reads the Charka is a symbol of our glorious heritage and an inspiring reminder of our freedom struggle led by the father of nation Mahatma Gandhi. Is this a tiger or am I wrong? I think it is. Oh a lion? I think it's a lion actually. Yeah, I think it's a lion. So the charka is a spinning wheel and uh, it was what uh, Mahatma Gandhi used before he became a leader and all these are different charkas from different type uh, places in India like that one is from Punjab, Punjab you can see there yeah Punjab here and then you can see Chennai here and all the way as you go around this one you see different places different cities and the different kind of um, spinning wheels that they used both to make clothes, to make sheets, and even one to make uh, books. Let me show you that. This one here. That one was used to make books. And this place uh, is a representation. You can see there are TV screens that will show you the history.
So this museum is a representation of who Gandhi was. He was a man who believed in peace. He fought and protested peacefully. He fought to unite people. It doesn't matter your religion or your background. And you know, India is a diverse uh, place and if you've seen my video uh, my latest video it showcases how just in one street there are five different religious places of people coexisting and it's been like that for a very long time and that's what Gandhi represented and he wanted that and so this museum is like a culmination of that and you can see when his history you can see the slippers he wore you can see the stick he uh, he carried and you can see even on the wall people from all sort of backgrounds following him uh, and it's quite amazing. So it's such a nice place. It's only 20 rupees to come So if you're visiting Connaught place, please make sure you stop by. It's just that one piece of history that is just beautiful to learn And this I was wrong. It's a symbol of made in India products <laughs> So yeah, and let's keep going and these rocks here which I thought were just beautiful stones are actually representation of rock salts and Gandhi uh, in the older times apparently I have been told that he used to make salt and this is a representation of that and as you can see at the end there there is a the, this here <laughs> is the monkey the monkey representation of see no evil do no evil and hear no evil uh, or speak do not do actually do is okay but it's hear no evil see no evil speak no evil So these lemon sodas are very common here, so I just want to try and see. Because I had one in Nepal, I didn't like it that much. So let me see. Maybe some masala. No masala. No, add some. Put some. Masala, masala. Yes. Done just a little, yes. Why not? Let me see how it is. <laughs> just, yeah, that's right. It's all right. I'm okay. I'm just walking yeah, around. Map, no? Yes, yes, I'm good. Thank you. I'm okay. You thank you. Okay, all right. Um, it's very hectic walking here because I have had like now three pe different people or four actually trying to help me to around. I keep saying I'm okay. They keep insisting, and they're like, I'm not selling anything. I don't want any money from you. I just want to show you around. And it's all right it's okay but i don't want you to show me around i'm just walking around and so yeah uh let's continue so as i said earlier the connaught place has been built to have uh, like rings around so it has the inner ring the outer ring and the circle in be in the middle is the central park and this is a park it's very well kept very beautiful with flowers and trees and palm trees and it's such a peaceful place to get out of the hustle and bustle from of the of the streets outside and so it's very very beautiful it's literally in the middle of connaught place so you can't miss it <laughs> uh, yeah See? Beautiful. There are so many flowers installation happening and I'm thinking it's because of the 
holy the day that is coming a holiday called holy that is celebrated with flowers and colors so i think that's why there are a lot of beautiful flowers here i don't know if they are there throughout the year but i hope they are because they are making the place so so beautiful There is a shopping mall called Palika but it was closed on this day and so people were setting up outside. So all along Connaught Place, all the buildings, the Georgian buildings, they'll have like banks, they'll have commercial places, they'll have bazaars and markets, they'll have your souvenir shops. And I know it's in the morning, so as you can see, most of these are closed because it's just around 10 in the morning. But when you come later, then this place will be even buzzing. But you can even still people setting up shop and opening their shops. And it's a very live business and financial district. And hotels. Did I mention hotels? <laughs> and restaurants. <laughs> My next point of interest and one that you shouldn't miss whatsoever when you're here in Connaught Place is this one. It's a Jantar Mantar, an observatory. It is. It was built by Maharaja Sawai, Jai Singh II of Jaipur. <laughs> That was quite a mouthful, but he built it. He was really he was a lover of science and astronomy And so after studying a lot of these uh, a lot of other places He built this one as one of the first ones, but there are others around uh, around northern India and this is um, Very old so 19. Oh, no, not 19 1724 which is a couple of hundred years old and he was used to study like celestial bodies such as the Sun the moon and uh, Yes, for an invention of that time, this is very, very beautiful and so, like, I mean, very impressive, right? So, when the Connaught Place was built in around 1929, as I said earlier, this area of course had people residing here had a lot of other things but they wanted this specific design to attract like to make this special place in Delhi and so they demolished a lot of things and only a few things were spared such as this place where I'm at right now which is an observatory and it was made by a Maharaja uh, one of the Maharajas in, nine, in 1724 and he's one of the many he built. He was very interested in astronomy and so he built a few of these. He was a Maharaja of Jaipur. So he built a few of these, one of them here in Delhi and a few others in Jaipur and other cities around Delhi. And so yeah, this is amazing. It's from 1724, so it's very many years old and it's still standing. And I'm really glad they actually uh, they, they spared it when they demolished other places and unfortunately people were displaced during that construction of the Connaught area but this piece of history here was preserved. So these have been named Ram Yantras and it is believed to have been named after the ma after his grandfather. <laughs> All these buildings and shapes are for specific astronomical uh, use and I have no idea about them because I know nothing about astronomy but they are very well structured mathematically and all to the point and it's weird that you can see it's not very crowded here as many other monuments so it's a very it's sort of a hidden gem not so hidden but still kind of hidden gem in the city so this feature here is unique to this daily uh, observatory and it was believed to be have been built by Maharaja's son his name was uh, Maharaja Madho Singh uh, the son of the Jawai Singh Jai Singh sorry 
and this one has like five pieces so you can see all around the places and it's quite interesting how these pieces would be used like some of them are used afternoon some of them are used in the morning when the sun is uh, rising and honestly i know nothing about astronomy to be honest but i would be very interested to know how it works because to me it looks like a beautiful structure but it is actually very it's something different and unique and i love it and this here is the centerpiece it's the one that is that shouts at you like you're here <laughs> and it's also considered his like highest position it was used to tell like the time that the changes in the lighting of the sun in the time of a place <coughs> and uh, this was uh, one of like his uh, yeah I have no idea what I'm saying now <laughs> I totally lost my train of thought there <laughs> Um, anyway, what I love most about this place and about this uh, Maharaja is that most of the rulers of those old days you hear about were interested in money and power and more gold. But this was a guy who was interested in science and expanding it. And he's just very unique to me. And uh, yeah, those are the kind of guys we need in society, right? The next place of interest in Connaught area is this Guru Dwara, Bangla Sahib, and it's uh, dedicated to the eighth Guru. So it's a sick place of worship, and uh, you can actually go inside. You just need to wear a turban, remove your shoes, and there is a place to wash your feet just before you go in. So you can do that, and you can see the people worship inside. But on the outside, everybody is welcome. You're allowed to see the grounds. You can take pictures from outside, but inside I don't think pictures are allowed. And uh, it's one of the places um, of Sikh religion, which is one of the major religions here in India. Thank you so much for watching this video of me in Connaught Place. I'm gonna end it here. I'm, I have one more place to go to that you've seen before, but I'm gonna end it here so that you may remember this place, that when you're in Delhi, make sure you're busy. First of all, you there's no crowd. You'll be by yourself mostly, which is very nice. And there are plaques that you can read and learn about the instruments themselves. And so it's a very interesting place. So thank you so much for watching my video on Connaught Place. Click subscribe, comment, share. Let me think. Let me know what you think about Delhi so far in my videos. So leave a comment, share to your friends, subscribe and turn on the notifications. And see you on the next video. Bye.